I just rented this mini excavator from Home oh, Depot. I'm so for excited. One day, but I've never driven an excavator before. Figuring it out right now. And I literally signed a contract saying, if I bring this excavator back broken, or even worse, not at all, I could lose $28,000, which would absolutely destroy my brand new real estate business before it even begins. And then this happened. So before I can actually rent the mini excavator from Home Depot to dig the final footings, I had to make sure all of the markings for the footings were dead on accurate. So I went out and bought this three plane level laser from Milwaukee to mark all the spread footings with the highest level of accuracy I could possibly get. So now that I have this green line here, I'm just gonna paint it because this is a perfectly straight line back to the end of the house that I can use as a reference. And I can use this card right here to keep me on track right here. There we go. Almost there. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. Okay. Let's hit this side real quick. Sun's coming up. I gotta race the sun. I am racing against the clock, y'all, to beat the sun so I can see my light. So glad I got this thing. Okay, I know those two are perfect. Ooh, I'm happy with that. Okay. If I'm perfectly level at 30 feet, I can do the hypotenuse with the laser and be fine. So, okay, I need to be at 30 feet right here. I'm in a race against time right now. Feels like man versus the sun. 30 feet right here, on the line, up, over. I sound like a fitness instructor. Down, okay, right there, that's my corner. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so that's straight. Now, I can move my level here, and know it's good. Okay, let's do it, come on. Okay, moving the level. That sun is coming up on me. It's cold out here, my nose is running. Uh, I lost a lot of visibility in the last few minutes, so I don't really know if I'm gonna be pointing straight at the corner of this house or not. But if I go quick, maybe I can figure something out. Halfway there, I can still see the line. I'm getting low on the paint. The one thing I didn't buy more of. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of paint. Ah, I'm running out of paint. It sucks. Okay. Ah. Come on. Come on, give me a little bit. I ran out of paint. Oh, the one thing I didn't get from the store. Okay, well, I know I'm at 90 at this corner right here, my first corner, perfectly 90. I know I'm straight here in the front of the house. I know on the side of the house I'm good too. And I was getting the hypotenuse, but oh, I just ran out of paint. I still have visibility too of my, on my beam. I'm back with more paint. And it's cold outside too, so I got a jacket. So here's where we left off. So I was actually painting the hypotenuse on my triangle here when I ran out of paint. So I went to the store, I got some brand new paint. I'm gonna finish making sure I have a perfectly square rectangle 
and I'm gonna go and then paint all my footings. All right, let's get started. <sighs> So right now I'm tying the string to the rock because right now my laser level is a little bit too difficult to read with all the daylight. What I'm gonna do is mark this string line with paint so that way I can see a clear line all the way down and that's gonna help me actually set my footings. I really liked how the strings turned out right now when I was placing them and doing the spray paint. So what I'm gonna do next, actually just grab some more rocks and do the same thing for all my footers. There, here. Okay. All right, so I'm marking 10 feet from the corner. There we go. There you go. First footer right there, right there in the center. 10 feet from here. Sir, 20 feet, we're good. Okay, so let's mark some string. All right, you guys, so I just rented the mini excavator from Home Depot. It's the Kubota K008. I'm about to take it off the trailer and get to work on the land. Okay. Woo! I love this stuff, baby. You know what I love about this? The freedom. You know what I mean? Go rent a tool, go do a job, get it done. I love that. This bad boy is going to be good. There we go. Out my way. Ugh. Figuring it out right now. I've watched videos, I read the instruction manual, okay, I'm still figuring it out, okay. I'm doing it, baby! That's right. Slowly but surely. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Okay, don't get too cocky. There we go, there we go, there we go, I got it. Got him, coach. What's up, brother? How you doing? Oh, you are? Good, man. All right, cool. So my mystery guest is actually the water meter guy. Yeah, it's a little baby one, man. Yeah, I was an operator, you know, I used to be in the other department where we ran the bigger excavator. Okay. And uh, yeah, it was scary when they first got me to learn. Yeah. But after a while, it was, it's pretty neat. You yeah. Know? Yeah, you can tell it's my first time on it, just trying yeah. to figure it out. When you start rolling, you keep your arms in. <laughs> yeah. 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 So after my scary conversation with the water meter guy, I could easily see this 2,200 pound machine rolling over my body several times and that would easily lead to my death but I needed to get these footings dug and I was confident enough in my ability to get the machine to work and after a while I started to relax and have fun with it I stepped my game up <laughs> oh yeah baby I got my game stepped up how you doing let's go Woo! Ride him, cowboy. Heavenly Father, I pray for a very safe day for digging, and I pray to hear your voice 
things get a little shaky. She's doing pretty man. Yep, I'm just riding her slow. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Yeehaw, baby. Okay, let me focus up. There we go. All right, we're getting it. We're getting it. Oh. I have this Kubota in the lowest gear possible. Like I'm driving it slowly. I'm new at this, so I'm not really risking it, uh, but I'm super excited to do it. I'm gonna take it slow, be very cautious. I read the owner's manual already. Okay, so you don't have to worry about me. It's cool. I got my seatbelt on. I prayed to Jesus like three times. So we should be good. All right, so I'm gonna do these footings, dig them. Now the footings, so they are, 12 inches down and they're 20 inches wide on both sides. So I'm gonna dig those. So I have 20 footings for the house and I have four more for the actual porch. But hey, we're here. I'm so excited to do this. I can't wait to dig these footings and bring you guys along for the journey. Let's go. Right now, I'm just trying to be really careful. I'm driving by one of our footings and the tent here is a little tight. So like I said before, I'm also driving this and in the lowest gear. Like I'm just being very cautious because I know I'm on a hill and maybe that's making it a little bit harder. It could very well be that I'm making it hard on myself because I have it in the lowest gear because I'm trying to be, you know, cautious about it. Let me try to square it up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. I might mess up my footings a little bit, but I'll still have it mainly marked out. I need to back it on up so I can cut it straight. All right, roll it forward. Put that boom lower, there we go. Okay, I'm here. Buck it out. Down. Dig, baby. Get in there. Ooh, that thing is digging. Okay. Eat it up. Oh, that's more than I wanted to dig. Okay. And then pop it up. Oh, oh, okay. Throw it over. All right, and drop it. Okay, back over. Do this a bunch more times, I'm sure. This is certainly faster than hand shoveling, I'll tell you that. A little more complicated, a little more risky, but it is faster. That was two scoops and I'm almost there. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, crap. No, no. Okay. This way, Daryl. Okay, and then you can open it. There you go. Forward, Daryl. Come on, Daryl. Do it right. Dig it. I'm hitting rock. Okay, this feels like a really good time to measure what I just dug. Okay, definitely wider than I need to be. That's okay. The width, 16 inches. Depth, see? About 12, uh, 12 inches, okay. Okay, this is not bad. And I could always come back and do detail work with a shovel too, so that's cool. Okay, a couple more passes. So listen y'all, I just dug this first footing, okay? And I'm sure I'm gonna get way better at using the mini excavator as time goes on, but I just wanted to say, you can do this too. If you have anybody, in your life hating on you, saying, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. I just came out here and did this. I never touched a mini excavator before. 
I just read the owner's manual and I wanted to do it. You can do this. All right, y'all, so we're about halfway through with the holes right now. I'm on hole number, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to hole number eight. I'm, go I'm only doing 20 today, okay? Remember, I was gonna do 24, but really, when it drops down like this, I don't really feel comfortable being on this machine any further than where you guys are at looking at me in the camera, so. You know, I used to work a corporate job, and at the corporate job, one of the cool things to talk about was, man, we are so fortunate. We don't have to be outside in the heat. We get to be indoors. We got it made, baby. And I partly agree with that. Being in the sun all day is obviously taxing. But I will tell you though, my mood after being outside all day and getting amazing amounts of real vitamin D, not the little stuff that comes in a little chewable, okay, but the real stuff, I feel exquisite, baby. That's how I feel. If you can't tell, <laughs> thank you, God. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Gosh, that could have been horrendous. This machine could have absolutely killed me. But even after my first near-death experience on the excavator, I decided to keep going. It's like I gotta dig this one differently than I did the others. You know, I can't be as aggressive, obviously, because if it's me versus this hill, this hill is gonna win. This is what happened last time. Okay. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. I didn't tip, thank you God. Good golly, Miss Molly. What it feels okay. like to be a rookie on the okay. excavator. <laughs> we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna take five. I might have to just get the shovel on this one. Okay, all right. We're gonna be all right. Yeah, I'm gonna let this one go as far as digging it. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna safely get back on this thing. I'm gonna pray first, okay? And then I'm gonna get back on this thing and dig these other ones. These, these other ones should be better. Definitely, Father, <laughs> please help me get this Kubota right. Okay, Jesus name I pray, come in. Okay, all right, that's the right direction. Turn it this way and back it on up. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. I burned a lot of fuel today. Diesel is like five bucks a gallon right now in Texas. I'm honestly kind of nervous to run out of fuel. What if I do all these footings and then I can't get back up the hill? I was pretty close to being done, really. I mean, I got this footing already dug, hand dug. I did that half of the house. I just need to do this half. Ugh, that kind of sucks. I'd really rather be safe than sorry. Let me tell you something real quick. If I mess up this Kubota, if I mess up this mini excavator, Home Depot is gonna charge me $28,000. Yeah, well, I got half the footings, Doug. Uh, now I can just concentrate my energy on getting it back up the hill and safely on the trailer. I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be the easiest thing, going backwards or forwards up the hill. I guess we'll find out. Just really trying to keep balance on this thing. Okay, I'll try this out. This might work. Okay, might have to gun it a little bit. Okay, let's think about this for a second. Neighbor, I'm just trying to get this thing out of here. Out, I'm having a little trouble. I can't believe it.
Yes, I'm, I'm going on the shallow part too and it's having trouble. So you're saying claw it, right? Kind of like that? I'm not too, too back, right? I'm not gonna fall? What do you think, just steady Eddie? Huh? Steady Eddie, what do you think? Or gun it? Huh? Should I gun it or just steady? Just steady? Should I flip this arm to the back or no? I just feel like I'm tilting so much. Huh? I just feel like I'm tilting back so much. Okay. You're not gonna you, you think so? All your weight's still Am I good? Still good? Sorry, I'm, no, I'm kind of nervous, you can tell. You sure I'm not tilting in the back, man? That's a little bit of a tip, right? Huh? Am I tipping now? I'm not rocking? Huh? It's, it's rocking, right? And at the perfect time, Dennis made me an offer I could not refuse. You know how to do it? Okay, let me back out and do it. $28,000 on the line if I mess this thing up. Oh. Please God, please God. So this is it. Is Dennis gonna save the day and get the machine that almost killed me two times up the hill? Well, when you have 40 years experience in the business, you do, and he did, but my camera dived. But I grabbed my iPhone as soon as I could, and this is what happened. Dennis just absolutely saved my tail. Dennis just saved my tail. I cannot get that Kubota from this hill right here. He does it in two seconds. I could not be more thankful than to have Dennis as my neighbor hooking me up right now. Save the day, because oh my gosh, Miss Golly Miss Molly, I could not get that excavator up the hill, but he hooked it up and I was so nervous. I was like, I was a little petrified. I was a little bit, a little bit, but it's all good. See, like, hey, you, you start working on stuff, you know, you start doing your thing, trying to make things happen and God sends an angel. Boom, back there. Cool, so happy. So that's it, that's the day. So we got a beautiful sunset behind me and that is a wrap. We rented the excavator. We dug 10 holes total with it. So I'm thankful that I got some assistance with the excavator. Didn't have to dig all of them with the good old fashioned shovel. So I'm happy about that. Shout out to Dennis, my neighbor, for saving the day. Oh my gosh. I'm so thankful that he came over, helped me get this excavator up the hill because he's actually been in construction for like 40 years. Who would have thunk it? I'm an extra neighbor, hooked me up just like that. So thank God for him. And I'm so glad we're doing this. This really is coming along. So next time I come out here, I'll be digging more holes, really getting ready for the foundation pour, which is gonna happen in the next coming days. And on top of that, I'm just thankful that I have this opportunity. I hope this really inspires you guys to go out and do your own mission, whatever that is. Subscribe to the channel, and I can't wait till you're here. See you guys. Next time on the Daryl Darks channel. In my last video, I rented this mini excavator from Home Depot to dig the footings to the pier and beam foundation to the A-frame home that my wife and I are building as a short-term vacation rental property in Canyon Lake, Texas. But things didn't go as well as I hoped. I almost fell off the excavator and I could have lost $28,000 if I returned the excavator damaged. So I chose to dig the footings with something a little more hands-on. I brought this big boy with me, but it's not exactly easy. Woo! Y'all see that? And that's when my new neighbor, Dennis, who's been in the construction industry for 40 years, says to me, I think you might be doing this the wrong way.